let's say for such a neutron star neutron star is a platform which prepare you for career in tech it has a many courses designed for freshers and workers professionals and also for a woman who is no tech background neutron star first trains you for 6 months and help you to become an amazing stack developer it also has a network of more than 300 great company to hire from Newton school so once the training is completed Newton school ensure that its student are placed with some of the best companies in the country and the best part of this Newton school has a pay after placement program under which you do not have to pay Newton school anything until and unless you have placed with a minimum 5 lakh ctc let's have a look at newton school launch pad launch pad is a institute taken by newton school for people who want to start coding from scratch and learn the basics different programming languages for absolutely free of cost the video will be available in the launch pad sections of the newton school there you can participate several quiz and assignment related to this course Hey guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to build website using materialize css this uh, materialize css is a framework of css so we get in start with this uh, materialize css uh, in materialize css you, you have different option to use it in your project you can use it it cnd link through cnd link or you can download it or use it on your system here is the something that they told you how to set up and here is the html basic setup we will go with this you like uh, i teach you in boot bootstrap same here you have to just simply copy it and paste it in your editor let me show you a, like if we write hello this is open but till now we did not add the our cnd link into it for that first of all we will add the cnd link first add the css link in the header and now we will add the javascript cnd bottom below this so now we add the cnd link so first of all i will teach you like how to add the new bar in go to component and in component there is a option called as new bar in the new bar uh, like this you will have many options to add the new bar you will also get the right align links left align links center the logo but we are going to use uh, the last one which is this one we are going to use it and just simply copy paste it in your editor i will remove the hello and i, I will simply add this code now you can see this we add this code but till now this is not working because we did not add the javascript so we will copy this and we are going to add it over here script this close this script and i am going to add that code between this and now you can see this this new bar is working 
I choose this because this navbar is responsible. That's why I chosen this. You can see this. It is a responsible navbar. And another thing I will show you in it. It's carazol. It's a in materials here. You have amazing carazol. The carazol option is available in JavaScript section. Let me show you this app. website is loading. Uh, the last one. I think the second last or something. You can use this one also. Let me show you how to use this one carazor in your project simply copy this code the whole code and paste uh, in body tag like I paste it you can see this this is coming but this will not going to work until and unless we are not adding the javascript copy this javascript and paste inside this script tag you can see the add the script now you can see this now it's working properly and in this you will also get the button in this slide so now me let me show you how to use the container in your website grid in your website like how to use it so first of all like we will be going to use this container in your site simply this will give a space from both the side and we will paste the content here and as it show as it like bootstrap it also have the trail columns and if you let me show you first of all the creating responsible basically when we give yes trail in this yes trail what happen the the trail columns are going to allot to the s and the in m like let me show you with the example how it's work going to use a simple example like this one i will take this code and pasting it over here so the container basic was this like it will give space from this side and this side like as you see if uh, as it mentioned here small trail in small it will get a trail uh, and here in this small it will take this six basically around six uh, let me show you for m if I you trail to the M both if you can see this in medium it is taking the whole the whole trail columns to it and if you go to the yes size like this we divide it like in we want a six column in S size and you can tell but we will invert it like make going to make it six and we will make yes trail this one trail like now you can see this in small it will taking the trail columns and the second half is also tracking the whole uh, taking the whole trail columns and if you get the or breakpoint of uh, m2 which is m uh, which is breakpoint is 600 pixels when you go apart from that you can see it, it will take take the six columns only the first will take the six columns and the second will take the uh, six column means totally at 12 columns like this so how this is working in the grid system in material CSS is it, normal like all and if you want to read more about it you can read more about it 
yeah in here you have another multiple options like in bootstrap you have card and all that thing uh, let me also show you that also uh, in the components you have footer cards button also you have preloaders like this so we are going to keep repeating ask question using these collapse uh, so first of all we will add the grid for that we will use the grid section and we will create a grid for it simply we are going to copy this code and going to paste it over here and let me remove the first one and as i told you like 12 column so in this case i want to use this small section 12 columns and this one so 12 columns and in medium i want to use it 12 column it is going wrong in 12 and this one is in 12 and in large i want to take this both uh, half columns so i will add l6 like this and you can see this i am going to add my heading over here so let's add the hood heading for that i am going to use h1 tag and pasting the heading frequently ask question So, but uh, H1 is looking too much thick. I will simply use H4 tag. Now it's fine. Here it is our content. So now this will go into this container and large yes I want to yeah so now let me add the collapse and for that I will add this and paste this code over here So let me beautify the code so now it's looking good but as you see it's not working for that we have to add huh, this code javascript code so that will work properly so let me paste the code so i pasted the code and now you can see this this is working so as I told you, I won't as per my requirement is working, but it will be looking. Let's edit the code so it will look better. So yeah, this one I want to give it large it four and make it 8 so now it will look better yeah so then now it's looking more better than first one yeah, you can see this this are working and here you can add your frequently asked question as per your requirement test you can edit the text so let's now we will add the footer for that we will go in this section now let's add the form and then add we will add the footer for that we are going in this form section so in the text input we have multiple forms like first one is 
this one this is a placeholder name last name password and also all this thing and also you have here we add the pen icon add the icon but I am showing in this video this first one we are going to use this one in our current project so let me paste it so now you can see that this is working but we have want to add the heading to it so I will add the heading to it so I will remove the form code and first of all in the grid option i will add this as we add this thing in the grid section so here i uh, now i add the grid section but one more thing like we have to center this text so what we are going to use like so in the css you have the alpha section in this uh, you can see the, you have multiple option to send to left align it center align it or right align it so we are going to align it to the center for that we are using this center type and so in first one we are going to use the center that like you can see this now become going in center but in the above in this frequently asked question we use h4 so now also here we are going to use h4 tag heading tag uh, and going to name it is contact form contact us we use contact us and now we are going to use this form in our project inside over here so now you can see this over is come but uh, we don't want uh, this disable I am not eligible this section so I will simply remove this row like this this is this row is gone and I don't want anyone to enter their password in this so we will also cut it from the above side and I want name, last name, email and their message so I will change it id to like type I am going to use text text the label will going to be I am taking the message from the user as usual so I am entering over here message and the input type ID will be message and for is also changing to message so now they will can enter their name and we will change this place folder to first name first name and we are removing this one because we don't want it yes so our contact form is also ready so name last name email and message so now we let's take a look at the footer so now we will add the footer to our website for that we will go to the footer section like this one you have the sticky footer we will copy this code and use it and now I am going to outside to this to that container class like this one this or uh, the class which are giving space to this the life uh, the right side and left side space 
so we don't want that space in the footer so now you can see this our footer is working also responsible responsible that's it so as in the only one website we create in one video we create the whole website and all the thing if you want more changes you can make the changes as per your requirement thanks for watching this video if you like this video then don't forget to like this video and share with your phone friends so they will also can learn how to build website using my css and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so get the latest video update and finally if you want the source code of this simple website this will be available on our telegram channel thanks for watching